Well, hey guys, thanks for joining me on the bench for the next electronics adventure. And today, I want to take a look at this little ultrasonic rangefinder. The HC SR04 ultrasonic distance measuring transducer sensor module. And here it is. I won't read through all of this. You can just pause if you want to take a look at the information. But working voltage is 5 volts DC, 2 milliamps current, uh, 15 degrees sensor angle, 2 to 400 centimeters with 3 millimeters accuracy. Hmm. So this should be interesting. So how does this thing work? Well, it has four pins on it. One is your five volt supply and ground. The other two pins you interface with a microcontroller. And you can have the microcontroller send out a 10 microsecond pulse. What that does is tell the device to send out an ultrasonic signal. It's 840 kilohertz pulses transmitted. When it does that, it sets the echo pin high. So the signal goes out, bounces off of something, and returns to the receiver transducer. And when it receives the signal, it goes low. The echo pin goes low. So what you can have the microcontroller do is measure how long that pulse is. Because if you have something nearby, you know, it's going to bounce off and come back quick and you'll have a shorter pulse whereas if you have something more distance it's going to take longer and the pulse will stay high longer. So I have to see what I can do to make the microcontroller read that pulse width. But first I want to hook this thing up to the oscilloscope and just send it some pulses and look at the uh, echo pin here and see how it varies with distance from the object. I never plugged this thing in, so I don't know if it works or not. So let's see what happens. Okay, so I've hooked this thing up to a microcontroller. Every second I'm sending a 10 microsecond pulse out to the trigger pin. And it happens so quick you don't even see the LEDs blink. But to my eye they're blinking. Now let me put my finger in front of the one of these transducers. And because it never gets its signal back, the LED blinks for a long time, and now you can see it. If I take my finger away, you can't see it anymore. So I have the oscilloscope hooked up to the echo pin and ground, and we'll look at the output on the scope. Now you can see it. I guess the, the shutter has to be in, you know, at the right time that these blink, the shutter has to be open on the camera. But anyway, let's take a look on the oscilloscope. Okay, I have the scope hooked up to the echo pin. And I have my hand in front of the sensor right now. So you're seeing the output pulse. Because my hand is very close, the pulse is very small. Now I'm going to move my hand out. And as I move it away, the pulse gets larger. And I'll take my hand all the way away. So it's bouncing pretty much off the wall, which is quite a distance. So I'll put my hand back in front of the sensor and it gets small again. Take it away, it gets larger in front again get smaller so yeah this thing is doing the business so here's what i'm doing i'm just putting my hand in front of it taking it away putting it back in front moving it back and forth and it's changing the pulse width so now what i'm going to do is take a ruler and measure the distance and measure the pulse width and see how they correlate Okay, I'm holding this card at 30 centimeters. Now, let's 
close as I can get it. When I'm not holding the camera, I'll get a better measurement. But the scope, which you can set to measure pretty much anything, says the pulse width is 1.8, 1.7. Changes is very sensitive milliseconds. So I'll see if I can get a tighter measurement and uh, do some calculations. All right, I went on Wikipedia and figured out the the sound level at uh, the room temperature, altitude, and all that good stuff where I'm at is roughly this, 344 meters a second. And we're working in centimeters here, so add 100 to that. And I'll have to use this calculator here because you just can't see this screen very well. So, do the math. 34400. Zero, zero. And I'm going to stick that into memory so I don't have to keep typing it. And all I have to do is multiply it by this times. Let's see, that'd be 0 .00174. And, look at that. You have to remember that the sound comes out and comes back, so we do have to divide that by two. Oh my god, look at that. 29.9, .9, and it was at 30 centimeters. That's awesome. Now I did measure it again at 38. So let me clear that. Bring up memory again. Uh, times point zero zero two one eight. Divide by two. And that that's still pretty close. Thirty seven point five and it was 38. Now it could be, you know, if I don't have the cardboard at right angles perfectly, you know, from the ruler, it could add a half a centimeter pretty easy. But that is amazing. This thing is the duck's guts. And nice having the oscilloscope around as well. Awesome. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write some more code and see if I can get some numbers out on the screen. I'm going to have to serial the information back to the computer because I don't have a display module to, you know, to uh, output that to with this microcontroller. So, see if I can get it to work with the computer. So here's a little program I wrote for the Pickaxe 08M microcontroller. Um, what happens here, well that's just the name of the program, it's a comment there. This sets pin 2 to be an output. Pulse, this is just a flag for the go to to come back here and loop. Pulse out sends a 10 microsecond pulse on pin 2. 1 is equal to 10 microseconds. Uh, pulse in reads pin 1, and this 1 means rising edge, and it stores the length of that pulse that it measures in the 16-bit variable. So I have to multiply that by 10, because I determine my conversion factor to be 5.8, and I can't do floating point on this. So I have to multiply it by 10, and then come down here and divide it by 58 instead of 5.8. And this is a serial output command. It puts that variable out on the serial port and then puts the text CM for centimeters. Pauses for one second and then loops and it just continues. So here is the terminal and I'll open that up. Open port on COM2 and it's just going to keep listing oh, we're getting the wacky color effects from the camera there uh, just going to keep listing the distance it measures okay so 
Let's start at 10 centimeters. Get that nice and square. And we're getting 10 centimeters. Okay, now I'll move to, let's see what we get. I'll just throw it on 22 centimeters. Make sure that's perfectly square. And we're getting 22 centimeters. And I'll go out to the end of the ruler, which is six, um, 38 centimeters. And a little bit off, 37. Not complaining. So if I move this out even further, it's going to go up higher. We're at 67. So that's what that does. That's just simply a little program that measures, just continuously measures for you. Now if I wanted you know, to detect something at a certain distance or a window of a distance when something comes in, I can write some extra code that detects that and then have it trigger another output or something like an LED. Uh, just an example. But instead of using the terminal, I could also serial out to a little display, which I don't have, and make a little portable measuring device. But that's it. The little rangefinder module it works a treat. Pretty neat. That's it. Thanks for watching.